Hey everybody. Uh, welcome to my channel. My name's Judith Taby, and it's been a minute since I've done some videos. Uh, universe has really just had me resting energetically. It's been, uh, collectively speaking, very tired. Um, I don't know if you've been feeling very tired, but I have, so even just preparing for a video to do a video was was exhausting <laughs> and but yet I keep having this drive and urge to wanting to to do a reading so I said please give me the strength and energy to do this because I the angels have messages things need to be healed and worked on so so I'm back and uh, hopefully the energies won't be too draining today to do this for you so uh, just a little disclaimer, it is Labor Day weekend and there's fireworks going off and motorcycles racing by, so I uh, can't control the outside noise. Um, I'm trying to do it at a time, it's dark now, so the neighbors aren't mowing their lawns or leaf blowing <laughs> and dogs barking. So with all that being said, thank you. I truly appreciate you checking out my channel. Um, all the description of the decks I'm using and how you can contact me for a personal reading is in the description below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if today's video, you like it, just give it a thumbs up. It's free and easy to do. So with all that being said, um, I'm doing the Zodiac Full Moon reading. So let's take a look here. So if you're not aware, when it's full moon, it's the time to release things, to let things go, give it to universe. Um, and when you release things, you make room for new things to come in, which is at the new moon time. So a full moon, which is coming up, uh, this next Saturday. Um, I figured let's see what you need to release to make room for in the new moon. What message do we have for Virgo today? Can I have one card please? One card for Virgo today. What does Virgo need to release at this full moon? Cards are all sticking together right now. So Virgo, are you in a sticky situation that you need to release? Next Saturday is the full moon. What does Virgo need to release? Surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in, rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. So Virgo, I'm hearing like, control you like to have everything in a specific order and control but this upcoming full moon you need to release that surrender to receiving help from others which is their way of showing you love and support so don't look at it like giving up control but look at it from allowing others to show you love and support and that takes the pressure off of you and simultaneously nurture you. Oh, wow. so Angel Embryo came out in, um, was it Aquarius or was it Pisces? I don't remember. 
the patron of psychics and students. She clears mental fog and doubt and brings psychic insight to your awareness for spiritual and scholastic benefit. Clarity, aha, communication. So, Angel Ambriel is, is showing me that releasing surrendering to receiving love and support will help you in your spiritual growth because we Virgo what what they're showing me now is that you should check your birth chart to see because we have a sun sign a moon sign and a rising sign along with others but your sun moon and rising is what makes up you as a whole in how the world perceives you so i see gemini here um with communication as as a primary other zodiac here so maybe you should check your birth chart to see what other um zodiac signs are in your chart to help you understand about receiving support and love and get that um psychic insight i don't know they're just really like they're making me feel like these two polar bears are fighting you know, like there's this constant battle. Are you dealing with a Gemini? And that you're just in this constant battle and fight when all they're trying to do is show you love and support. And by allowing love and support to come into your life, it, nur it will nurture you. And I feel like you're, you're a one of um, scholastic, uh, highly intelligent, st uh, studious. <laughs> they just make me feel like you, you're like so book smart and, and intelligent. So you being able, you know how to do things and handle things, but it's time, like the best student the best intellectual person is is someone who knows t that you can take the pressure off of yourself and nurture yourself by allowing this support and love to come in. You know, you have to have that aha moment. Like, by, by surrendering to receiving support and love doesn't make you weak doesn't make you unintelligent, doesn't make you someone who can't handle something. Okay, Virgo. So, um, yeah, they made me feel like you should try and find out what your other signs are, your moon sign and your rising. And then there's free websites. Um, just Google free birth chart and it'll bring you to a site where you can enter your information and it'll give detail of what each represents so what the sun sign means what the moon sign means and the rising sign um and again being a student and into and an intellectual this is a way to expand your you know your your knowledge your information that's all i have for you virgo hope it helped Make sure you get that done by this full moon.